Hello and welcome. It is me, Bio, and today I'm looking at a requested game. And that requested game is Wild Shade Unicorn Champions. Um, I have a feeling I kind of already know what this game's going to be like. You know, considering it's about unicorns. And I'm not familiar with Wild Shade. If that's a show or something like that, I don't know. Probably should look it up really beforehand, but eh. I didn't really look up things I really care about, to be honest. So, <laughs> But yeah, this was requested to me um, by Lily. So thanks for the request, Lily. Uh, you said it's on your backlog for a while. So hopefully I get to show you some gameplay, make you uh, determine whether or not this is something that you want to be playing. Hopefully, maybe. Like, I have my... Again, you got to realize, right? Wild Shade Unicorn Champion, straight away, I kind of figure that this is not going to be a game made for me. So it's, I'm going to be walking into this with kind of some reservations a little bit. It's just one of those things. But it says on uh, Game of Accused that it's a horse racing game. So we'll see whether that's true. But in, just to give you the usual information, this game is developed by Tavola, which I'm not really familiar with. But they've been around for a long time. They've been around since 1995. And, and yeah, they just basically focused on making mostly PC games. So, interesting. They uh, made games up until like 2018. And then there's like literally nothing. At least on Game of Accused. It might be different on other websites. Uh, from 2018 to 2023 when they released two games. They released Animal Hospital and they released this game, Wild Shade. Unicorn Champions. So, and this game is published by Nacon. Oh, that lovely, lovely publisher, Nacon. I'm obviously joking there, because Nacon is a terrible, terrible publisher. Um, all we got to do is, is look at the sinking city to, to know why. And this game came out on November 30th, 2023, so it's a very, very um, newish game. Now, obviously, there's different release dates, actually. I think the game came out in general in November 2023, but I'm playing the Switch version, because it's just the easiest version for me to run. I did try looking to see whether or not I could find the game for PC. Nope, couldn't find it. Um, and then when it was during the winter sale on Steam, I thought, oh, I'll purchase the game and then I'll re probably refund it or something. And it was more than I'd like it to be. So, yeah, so this is, to, to me straight away, this is shovelware, 100% shovelware. I don't care what anyone says. This is perfect example of modern shovelware. And the game's got to prove to me that it's un it's it's not. Because from the case, from just everything, the fact that it's being published by Nacon, anyone who's even remotely informed would immediately consider this to be some kind of shovelware, some kind of modern shovelware. So it'll be interesting to see if they can prove me wrong. But obviously, like I said, this game came on all major systems. So enough talking, let's dive into it. Yep, saving. Normally there's an icon. Oh my word. Oh, okay. I'd like to remind you once again, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go onto the Steam page a minute and tell you how much the game is on Steam. Just from looking at what you're looking at right now, right? Oh don't be give me that. I know you're on Steam. I know you're on Steam. Don't give me that. Do release date, you'll come up. And then just do specifically games. Oh! Oh my god. You will not believe this. It's not on Steam anymore. I, I shit you not. The game has come off of Steam. Oh my word. When I was originally requested this game, right? Oh my god, it's actually... Oh my god, well that, that, that says a lot. I type in Wild Shade Unicorn Champions on Google, and it says mobile game afterwards. So, is this a port of the no mobile game? But I'll tell you how much this game is on the Switch. $34.99. So that's, what, 40 bucks? Would you say just from the graphics alone it's worth 40 bucks? I wouldn't. This is why games need to be priced appropriately, but what do I know, right? I'm going to play as 
Mr. Balding Grey Hair Boy. Oh, we get to pick our unicorn. Okay, so we can choose between two normal horses, uh, no, four normal horses, and two unicorns. Like, well, the game is Unicorn Champion, so I better have a unicorn, right? Name your horse. And I don't even get to name my horse normally. I have to pick between two names. All right. Can I pick, like... Oh, there's a lot of here. There's a lot here. Uh, Abbott, Ace. Attack. I'd love there to be Attack Helicopter, but let's be honest, it's not going to be there, is it? Ah, Bingo. Bingo is a good name. Bing Bingo Cash! Bingo Cash Money! Bingo Cash Money! I'm very tempted by Bingo Cash. I'm going to be honest. Oh, is that... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you... Oh, I've read that wrong. I thought it said Bingo Bonkers. Oh, no, I would have had that. That would have been... That would have been the one. That would have 100% been the one. Oh, Bingo... Bingo Demon? Blaze Demon, you could call them if you wanted to. Bingo Dollar. Dollar... Ca can, I call him do can I call him Dollar Cash? Oh, Dollar Cash. Cash Money? Dollar Cash. Come on. That is 100%. The cash chaos, cash chaos went past it there. So, dollar cash. We're gonna call him dollar cash, of course. Cash money. This this horse is gonna win it for us. So, do dollar cash. What? Why did you? I press the A button and it just completely ignored me. Fantastic, fantastic game. I love it when you just ignore me. Dollar, dollar. I'm doing this one more time. If it doesn't accept it, you can suck my big fat one. All right. There we go. I pressed the A. I had to press the A button three times before it registered it. That's a sign of a good game. It's a sign of a good game. All right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> How many times do I have to press A for you to understand that I want to confirm? Still. 40 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, straight into racing, are we? Oh, my word. What's happening? Okay, so we can steer a horse. Oh, fantastic. I'm not... Uh, why would I... So I can drift a horse. Okay, why would... Why would drift? You can drift your horse, because of course you can. I like how the tutorial's gotten stuck. Do I automatically go over these? Yeah, I do. I thought I was pressing A to jump, but no. Nope. Just automatically goes over it. Fantastic. Oh, here we go. Is it the finish line? Are we going back again for more? Fantastic. I'm guessing. There you go. I've done your I've done your tutorial of hold to drift. Oh, brilliant! I love it when a video game has such a badly programmed tutorial. Oh, now there's another horse here. Right, I, I, I cast a magic spell at them. Now I've got to win the race. Fantastic. So straight away, this game feels so, so bad. It's unreal. It feels really bad. Like, I don't even get a boost for drifting. So what's the point of drifting? I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a fan straight away. It's just because it doesn't control great, right? It doesn't control pick particularly great. I don't know if I won. I don't think I did. I did, just barely. What? First, second. What? There's three horses in that race, though. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, so... We have, so this, let's go over what we have as options. We have the campaign, we have a tournament, a race, a stable, and breeding. Right, well, let's go to the breeding aspect first. So I guess we can breed horses, because obviously I'm not going to play the campaign. I don't care about the story. That's not what we're here to do at the end of the day. 
Sure. Um, let's have the, uh, the the other unicorn. What do we get? Oh, there's like loot boxes. Oh my god. Who would have guessed? Release horse? Sure. Alright. So basically, I'm guessing you've got to collect horses and then you can breed them to make better horses. I like how literally breeding a horse is like a loot box action. That's fantastic. But then again, I'm not surprised. If this is a port of a mobile game, I'm just not surprised, if I'm honest. Stable obviously shows. There we go. There's all the different horses we can get. There's all of them. Oh, there's a lot of... I'll give credit. There's a lot of different horses that you can get. I would rather it not be Unicorn Champions, though. I would rather... There's lots of horses um, that you could have gone for in mythology. The Kelby would have been great. Great horse, Kelby. But, you know, what do I know? Again, why, why, why do I say these things? Because at the end of the day... I'm sorry, this, the fact that this is just a port of a mobile game, because it very clearly is a port of a mobile game. It's shovelware, 100% shovelware. So... You know, is there a point to do it? I guess we could do a tournament. And... Dollar cash. And then go. Oh, we've got to choose our rider. So our rider doesn't matter, fine, I'll, I'll pick her. There we go. Easy, we do want easy. Alright, what, what do we have? Diamond, Haunted Hill, Frozen Lake, Old Water Mill, Holiday Island. Let's do the hardest. It's got to be diamonds. Got to be the hardest, right? Waiting for player. Yeah, just give us automatic AI. There we go. We're going in. We're racing. Get, get crystallized. I don't really see the point of the drifting, though. What's the point of even collecting those as well? Just ignore everything. Ignore that. Around. Oh, you missed me. Lighting's not particularly great in this cave, is it? Yeah, I don't see the point of drifting. It it slows you down, if anything. Hit someone. Ran. Oh, what's the point of me collecting these things as well? Right, easy may be a bit too easy, because they ain't keeping up with me. But I also feel like if I go over these logs, it slows me down. So... Igni. Fantastic. But it just, if you ask me, like, what's the controls like? They work, don't get me wrong, but they're nothing special. They do feel a little bit, there is a little bit of jankness to them that you can only really describe. Like, I guess, a bit stiff, if anything. I would say a bit stiff, but then again, I guess you are driving a horse. <laughs> it's probably the best way to describe it, you're driving a horse. Oh, so that res okay, so they restore your magic. Oh, I hit someone with that. You can't throw the tornado backwards, which is just kind of stupid. But what do I know, right? <laughs> No, I see. I always, I will always play a game on easy first because I'm a terrible, I'm terrible at video games. But also, you gotta get a feel of the game. This is 100% some kind of shovelware game. 100%. It is a, it is basically a kart racing game. I'm gonna be honest. It is a kart racing game. It's just got, it's just replaced the kart with carts with horses because it controls like a kart racing game. There's drift, for one. You think they would, because you're on a horse, they would have like a lean mechanic or something? I don't know. Or maybe like you, you, you go down by the side of the horse and like lean outwards to help the horse turn around corners. 
But no, the horse actually fucking drifts. <laughs> it's stupid. And obviously there's a boost option as well. As you can see, they got a boost. And they're dr again, I don't... The drifting... Like, if it gave you a boost, it'd be a point of doing it. Because, but because it doesn't give you a boost, there's literally no point. Hey, hey, want to see something? See something? Come on. I don't know how I missed that. Let me just, uh... Yeah, you can do that. It's fine. This probably will be the last race I do. Don't see me doing any others. Because I, I, I've already got a feeling of what the game's like. I don't, I don't really need anything else. All right, so going over the logs actually give you a little bit of a speed boost, so maybe there is a point in going over But as long as I hug the corners... Look, I'm already ahead of him, just by hugging the corners. Bye. To me, the best point of this game is the music. The music's actually not too bad. I like the music. There you go. Get wrecked. Let's give it a little boost. But yeah, this is 100% shovelware. 100%. Like, graphically speaking, the game doesn't look great. This <laughs> my, my horse literally barrel rolling ahead. Fantastic. They hit me as I was pressing the boost. But yeah, that's the two cents I have to give for this, really. It's... It's okay. Yeah, it, it, it's okay, but it is what I would call a budget, jank, kart racing game. It, yeah, okay, don't get me wrong, it's kind of disguised a little bit. Because obviously they replaced the carts with horses, but it doesn't stop what it is. See, look, I, I went around that corner way faster, simply by not drifting. I'm not drifting at all. I know I'm playing one easy, but still. That tactic seemed to work. I would reckon that tactic would work anyway. So. I'm glad it's only two laps, though. That's all I can really stomach, if I'm honest. Of a single race. And there we go. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to com complete this tournament. I, I've seen enough, I'll be honest. Right. I can't imagine the story's anything special. But the game plays like a budget kart racer. But it's not a budget kart racer, is it? Because they're charging £35 for this. They're charging 40 bucks for this. So how can you say it's a budget kart racer? And that's my argument. It, it very clearly is, that's what it is. But they're charging, like, double A money. If you, want to, if you want to use those terrible bloody triple A, double A, single A bullshit, that's what they're charging for it. Double A money for what is basically shovelware. So I can't recommend this game. I can't. Just on... It doesn't control particularly well. It is bog standard. There's nothing special about it. There really is nothing special about it. It is like they decided to make the most boring kart racer you can imagine, but then, oh, let's replace the carts with horses, and let's, let's make it specifically for girls right because obviously i'd imagine that's what again who what boy is going to be buying wild shade unicorn champions so but that's it i'm not willing to play any more of this not my thing i'm i'm not even going to say mixed feelings definitely would just say straight away not recommended not recommended at all but i've been bio thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye